So if The Incredibles are the Fantastic Four, then Jack-Jack is the Super Skrull. What is going on? Draw it to crew. Ramney here with a brand new drawing tutorial series for you guys. And with The Incredibles 2 movie coming out soon, I thought I would show you how to draw the Parr family as shown in the first and second Incredibles movie. This is the fifth episode of our Incredibles series. And today I will be showing you how to draw Jack-Jack Par. A quick note before we begin you guys, if you like what I do on this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell as well so that you guys are notified anytime I upload a brand new tutorial video. Here on this channel, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from TV shows, movies, video games, books, comic books, etc. Of course, we did not know until the end of the first movie that Jack-Jack has these crazy crazy superpowers and I'm very excited to see what they are in The Incredibles 2. Now I'm sure you guys are ready to get started. Here are the tools that you are going to need for this tutorial. You are going to need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black ink pens with different size nibs for inking. Again, you guys keep in mind three things as you're watching this tutorial video. Number one, if you feel at all like this video is going way too fast, you have the ability to pause it or slow it down using the speed button at the bottom right to go at your own pace. Number two, feel free to add more details to the drawings if you guys want to. I drew them pretty simple, but if you guys want to add some more texture to the hair or anything like that, you can do that as well. It's your drawing, so feel free to do whatever you want with them. And of course, number three, if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely fine. As long as you guys did your best and you're proud of your work, that's all that counts. Having said all of that, you guys, let's get right to the drawing tutorial. Okay, so for Jack-Jack, you guys, I've got my paper in portrait mode again. What we're going to do is full body, but that's not that big of a deal because he's got a really tiny body. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to draw a pretty big circle, actually. And this circle is kind of just, uh, here's my, the center of my page, and it's going to be up and to the left. There you go. That is, of course, going to be for Jack-Jack's head. Okay, once you have that, what we're going to do is we're going to widen the Jack-Jack's uh, uh, head a little bit. So I'm going to draw a line across right here, because this is where I'm going to kind of sh reshape the head. So you'll see that there's a point here now, and it's starting to get a little wide. So at the end of it, there's like a, a bit of a point. I'm not going to make it into a sharp point, just a curve, but you'll see there's like a drastic uh, point right there. Okay, I'm going to draw ears here and here. Cartoony big. Makes it look cuter. There you go. Okay, and then... The center of it is going to be right here and then continuing that all the way to the top. And as you guys notice, the center line is not up and down like this, but it's slanted like this. Okay. And of course he's got the tiny little mohawk. And so I'm just going to fill that in right there. Okay. I'm going to zoom in so we don't need all that space. I'm going to zoom in so that we can see the rest of the body right here is going to be the neck. I'm just going to draw a little bump like this. Okay. And then now that goes out and then this goes this way. So you notice his body is relatively tiny. I'm going to draw another line going across here. That's for the, the collar. And so let's look at that tiny body. His body is going to actually go Okay, from this point, I'm going to draw his butt. His butt goes out like this, a cute little baby baby bottom. Okay, now from here, I'm going to draw a line like this. And from here, just imagine it going like this. So he's got a tiny little body. Actually, you don't want to make the body bigger than the head. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller even. Just readjusting it so that you've got like smaller, cuter proportions. And sometimes you got to do that, you know what I mean? So there you go. I'm, I just made it a little bit smaller than I had it originally. And feel free to do that as well. You don't want the body being way bigger than the head. You want the head to be the largest 
part of Jack Jack's uh, Jack Jack Jack's appearance. Okay, I'm zooming in a little bit more so you guys can see it a lot better. Okay, there you go. For this leg, I'm going to draw a circle, actually an oval right here. Oval is going to look like this. Let me fix that. Oval is going to go right here. So imagine the butt going this way, about this far down. Okay, this goes up like that. Okay, and then the other foot is going to go from here. Imagine the other foot kind of sticking out right here. Here's the knee. You don't need a lot of leg, just the knee and then an oval, slightly smaller than this, an oval over here. There you go. Okay, from there, let's draw the little baby, baby tummy, baby chest right there. So if I erase the line, this is what it looks like, a baby chest, baby tummy, and then the leg goes in like that. Okay, now you got this right here. What you want to do is you want to bring that towards the foot and it, that's actually part of the arm. His arm is going to go right here. Imagine this going down and his hand is going to, let me zoom in here. His hand's going to be right around here. So first I'm going to draw an oval on its side like this. And then here's the, uh, what do you call it? The collar or not collar, the uh, cuff. What do you, whatever you call it over here. All right, let's draw, let's separate the arm right there from to upper arm, lower arm. There you go. Okay. Now the other hand, before we actually, before we draw the arm, let's figure out where the hand is going to go. And the hand is going to be right here, resting in between just right here. I'm going to draw a square. Okay. And then after that square, I'm going to draw the, this thing right here on this side, the cuff. Okay. This goes in and this goes up to the shoulder like this. And there you go. That is zooming out. That's the gist of our baby Jack Jack drawing you guys. So let's go ahead and zoom in and start working on the details of the drawing. I'm going to change my pencil to a sharper one and I'm going to start working on the face first. Okay, so we've got this line and this line that intersect right here. That is where you want the smile to go. So here's a smile and then here are the cute baby cheeks. Okay, so you got a lot of this bottom part right here. I'm going to erase there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line to there. This goes slightly like that. There you go. So I erase this line here. Now the nose is going to be right around here. So imagine these, this line and this line kind of making their way up like that so that they meet over here. And that's kind of where you want the nose to go. And the nose I'm going to draw as a half a curve, half an oval like that. Just above that, I'm gonna draw two lines going out. Okay, and that's gonna be for the mask. So Keep that in mind. I'm just going to draw them going out like that. Before I do that, I'm going to draw the eyes and the eyes draw two points right here because the eyes kind of come to a point at those two spots. They're rounded off. They're round on these sides, but they come to a point right here. Okay. Same thing on this side. You want to make sure that they're roughly the same size, right? There you go. Two huge Q 
cute pupils and make sure they're the same size make sure that their placement is right so that they're not you know he's not looking cross-eyed or anything okay and inside that is another circle And if you want to make it look even cuter, I'm going to draw a tiny little circle right there. And a tiny little circle right there, kind of on the like one o'clock, two o'clock position of the eyes. And color that black, color that black. Okay. Let's draw the mask around his eyes. I'm going to start right here now. I'm going to draw this dip right there. Okay, and then just go around the eyes. curve right here just like that and you want to do the same thing on the opposite side you notice that at the bottom of the mask is where it's the thinnest and at the top is where it's the widest and between actually is even wider than that so between the eyes is where it's widest you want to keep sh keep it so that that's what that is and try to create an even distance from the eye as much as possible on the sides. There you go. I'm going to erase the guidelines here and just fix it up. Fix the ear. I'm going to erase that line there. Actually, not the bottom part. I'm going to make that go like that. And then just a very basic curve at the top. Okay. Fix the side of the head. Can you guys hear? There's a really aggressive bird that likes to perch on my neighbor's rooftop. And every time I do my tutorials, you can always hear him. Okay, right here, it goes like that. And there you go, guys. That is Jack-Jack's face. And of course, this is very simple. Here's the little mohawk that he's got. A little frizzy at the top, like this. But for the most part, everything comes together. Just like that. Okay, the body now. Uh, for this, I'm not going to draw the Incredibles logo. Um... I didn't see in the trailer if he has the Incredibles logo on his um, his baby outfit here, but yeah, I'm going to avoid. I'm, I'm not going to draw it, but feel free to do so if you want to. Okay, let's do the feet first, and I'm going to draw the sole of the foot like this. So another oval inside that oval. I'm going to erase the side of that oval there. There you go. And just a tiny little fold, fabric fold, right there. Okay, color this black. Okay, on this side. That's what that looks like. I'm going to erase this line and that. Another oval right here. Now the side of the oval touches, like it's right here, right? It is against this side. So the oval inside is, there you go. That's what that looks like. One line there and then another line this way. There. Awesome, so now all we have left are the hands, really. Actually right here, I'm gonna draw a curve this way and then another one this way. Now, the hand, I'm gonna do this hand first. Thumb goes out like this. Cute little tiny thumb. Divide this into four. This goes out this way, and then just gonna draw it curving this way, 
and then from here like that. So imagine this is the, that's where the hands are going to go. Okay, or fingers, I mean. So we'll just draw the fingers now. And remember that the middle finger is always the longest. So you want to make sure that when you're drawing it, that wasn't so hard when you're drawing it, that you're drawing the middle finger as the tallest one of them all. There you go. Fairly easy. And right here now, just a little curve like that. There's one hand. And then the other hand is going to be right here. Let me bring that a little bit higher up. Here's the oval. Now this one's a little bit tricky because you're going to foreshorten a few of the fingers. Okay. Let's draw the first finger, the index finger first. That's what that looks like right there. Okay, and then the next finger goes down like this. Another finger like this. And then the last finger like this. Okay, now that I have those lines, I can draw in each individual finger. One, two, three, and then over here, just, there you go. So that's it, you guys. And once you have that, you are done with Jack-Jack. So let me zoom out ever so slightly, you guys. That is how you draw Jack-Jack Parr from The Incredibles. Wasn't too hard. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And be sure to check the other Incredibles tutorials that I already uploaded on this channel. Thanks, you guys, for watching, and I'll catch you next time. And that is all the time that we have for this Incredibles tutorial. I hope your drawings turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there for others to enjoy or post it on Instagram and tag me at draw2 so I can see it. If you guys are curious about the equipment that I use to do my tutorials or to make my videos, I have a link in the description of all my videos. Feel free to check it out if you guys are ever into you know, what kind of supplies I use for the things that I do. Check that out in the description. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, it would help me a great deal. If you guys liked this video, comment it down below, subscribe and share this with your friends in your social media. Of course, you guys, speaking of social media, don't forget also, you can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google+, and of course, on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of the tutorials found on this channel. And of course, the links to all of that are in the description of this video, so be sure to always read the description. And I think that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And finally, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video.